Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. Today, I'm out here in the Kaka'ako area of Honolulu, Hawaii, chilling, kind of hanging out. Wanted to change up the environment for the day where I get my computer work done, do a little bit of writing, reading, and thinking. Um, but today's video is going to be about overconsumption of hip hop music, overconsumption of rap music can be a very dangerous thing. Now before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in travel, fitness, and overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the video, but first I want to preface the video by saying that words are extremely powerful, so when you're consuming a lot of toxic words, a lot of toxic music, a lot of toxic messages, over and over and over again, it's gonna get implemented in your brain to some extent. If you're somebody with a really strong mind and somebody who's able to kind of decipher all the messages that you're listening to or the things that you're watching in the media, then you know it won't affect you as much as somebody who's maybe weak-minded, but if you constantly are listening to certain messages over and over again, eventually it's gonna get numb to you and eventually you're gonna normalize some of it. So that's the reason why I kind of wanted to make this video speaking on hip hop music or speaking on rap music, especially the mainstream rap music, because in my opinion, almost 100% of the messages in the mainstream hip hop sphere is all toxic. It's all toxicity. It's all pretty much degrading ourselves. And it's something that is being pushed as black culture. And in my opinion, what hip hop represents nowadays and what this rap music represents and the people who are involved in it, to me, that's not black culture. Once you normalize a lot of these messages that are in this hip hop music, uh, these toxic messages of uh, violence, jealousy, sleeping with another man's woman and bragging about it, um, material worship, stunting on people to make them feel less than the next man, you get to the point where you're almost losing your morality to the point. And once you actually normalize these things, get numb to it, and actually start promoting these things yourself, that's when you get to the point where you just completely live in off code. You're not abiding by code. You're not abiding by a moral compass. You just pretty much have been brainwashed at that point. And the next aspect of this new school mainstream hip hop that I want to talk about that I think is probably the worst of the worst is the female hip hop, the female rap. That's your Nicki Minaj's, your Cardi B's, your Meg Thee Stallion, whoever else. I really don't even know too many of these artists, but from what my perspective is, it seems like it's getting more and more popular. I even see and hear men listening to this type of music on a normal basis. And one of my homeboys who's a DJ was telling me that female rappers is actually getting to be more popular than male rappers nowadays. But one of the main reasons why I'm not a fan of the female hip hop movement that's going on is that the messages in female hip hop to me, it's like 100% toxic, straight up. It's just toxic femininity and it's over sexualizing themselves, it's over sexualizing men, it's promoting materialism. All I ever hear in there is how men are replaceable, men ain't shit, this and that. And you know, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself which men are they actually talking about in these messages because all I ever hear in female rap is just F this N word, uh, they F this N word, they'll replace this N word, yada yada yada. And you gotta wonder to yourself who is the N words? The N words is the black man, that's you. You know what I mean? If you're a black man who's watching this video, but you know, any man can kind of listen to this this message and kind of see that it's just disrespectful to men in general but when you start to using that n-word you know it's hinting that that they talking about black men and honestly now that this female rap is just getting more and more popular i'm actually cool off of messing with any females who actually listen to this music because at the end of the day they're internalizing it and subconsciously in their mind they're having less and less respect for men and especially less and less respect for black men. And black men, we already get shitted on in this culture probably more than, not even probably, we get shitted on in this culture more than everybody else anyways. And if our woman who we choose to be with is listening to disrespectful messages about you, then you know that's something that you gotta think about. And another thing you gotta think about is if you're messing with a woman who's not black and she's listening to these messages, and she's listening to them say, you know, F this N word or they F this N word. 
nine times out of ten when you listen to music especially when you by yourself you're singing along so your woman who's not black and she's listening to all these n words and f this n word and all this disrespect towards black men she's singing along to that she might not do that when she's around you but she's most definitely doing it when she's by herself or when she's with her non-black friends and honestly that's just the way it is with rap music anyways when it comes down to non-black people listening to rap music because there's so much disrespect of black people in rap music and we disrespect ourselves so much in that music that it's almost hard to understand why we even consume that music to begin with and then when non-black people consume that music like i said they're singing along when they all with each other and there's no black people around they saying the n-word like crazy you could believe that and i was just walking down the street in waikiki the other day and I heard these three white dudes, they was talking about rap music. And I don't have anything against, you know, white dudes listening to rap music or whatever. But it's just so funny to me because they're just talking about, oh, yeah, well, you know, I really like the baby and little baby. He's got tight lyrics and I, I don't listen to none of them dudes. So I don't even know what nothing about neither one of them rappers. But they was just talking about a bunch of uh, artists and talking about their opinion about him. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, man, nine times out of ten, the way these dudes is talking, they probably don't even understand half of the lyrics anyways because a lot of times when i'm around people who are not black and we're listening to hip-hop music they don't even really understand what the message is all about they just hear certain things and they probably understand certain things but they don't really understand the real slang like that anyways it's like you know i was with somebody not too long ago and we were listening to some some bay area uh rap music and she just didn't understand any of the the lingo in it at all she just didn't understand any of the the ebonics or whatever you want to call it any of the slang words or whatever and that's just the way that most people are going to kind of view this this music and the only thing that they're going to take from it is the obvious negativity so another thing that i have a problem with like mainstream hip-hop mainstream rap music is that a lot of people when they think about black culture the first thing that they think about is hip-hop the first thing they think about is athletes is entertainment and pretty much that's all they view you as is entertainment or athletic or whatever they don't think of you as a problem solver they don't think of you as an intellect so it's a problem when people are viewing you like this so rap music isn't doing anything but perpetuating this and they're perpetuating it in a super negative way so at least when it comes down to athletics you know it's it's something commendable about athletics and there's something com commendable about competition and striving to be your best but when it comes to this rap music a lot of times there's really nothing there's no silver lining in it it's just straight garbage i guess you could say it's creativity but you know at the end of the day we didn't created so many different music genres man black people have created rock and roll we created country music we created the blues and probably a bunch of other different types of music so we're not limited to hip-hop but a lot of times we limit ourselves to hip-hop to the point where that's the only type of music that we listen to and for me personally i like to listen to hip-hop but a lot of times what i find myself doing now is i listen to like that lo-fi music or i find myself listening to even like classical music or just different genres of music in general when i think about black culture i don't think of what rap music says i don't think about the toxicity i don't think about the criminality i don't think about the over sexualization that's not really what black culture is to me you know black culture is more of resilience it's creativity it's making something out of nothing you know what i mean it's overcoming struggles and honestly i think of intellect as something that has to do with black culture i think of problem solving as something that has to do with black culture and these are things that i feel like is more of a positive thing that we can lean that we can fall back on opposed to negativity and criminality and you know normalizing normalizing that type of behavior and you know it's just not it's just not a good look as far as my channel and the community that i'm trying to build i'm just trying to build people who are on a growth journey it's not necessarily limited to being a, a black man I want every I want as many different people and as many different cultures to be involved in the culture that I'm trying to create on my channel and that's more so just having a growth mindset and being on the pathway to enlightenment to some degree my channel is about travel fitness overall growth so it's pretty much just about getting your mind body and spirit all in the tip-top shape because honestly there's no use of having a strong body if you have a weak mind you got to exercise your mind you got to exercise your body you got to exercise your spirit 
uh, however you see fit to doing that. There's a thousand different ways to skin a cat, but we should always be striving to be our best. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave me a like, uh, comment if you guys have something to comment, if you wanna add anything to this video. If you didn't like the video, you know, you can go ahead and comment and let me know as well. If you guys are interested in getting yourself in tip top shape physically, that's always a good start. Because once you see that you can transform your body, a lot of times we can see that we can transform our mind and we can do anything because a lot of times a, a good body transformation is a good start to a good life transformation. But anyways, you guys can go to my website, that's travelstenics.com and book a free consultation with me. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and share the video with somebody else that might be interested in this subject matter. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.